Am I the asshole for calling bullshit on my sister's interpretation of our mother's will? My mom died in March, and we live in Minnesota. She had three adult children, and her last update to her will, 2011, specifically states an equal split between the three of us. It also names her friend and my sister as co-representatives for her estate. In 2021, the Colorado Debt of Revenue seized $500 from one of her checking accounts because, unbeknownst to me, she had made me a co-owner of the account. She had also done this for my siblings. Colorado says I owe them some money. I disagree and don't have the money to pay them anyway. My brother has a similar situation with the IRS. Our mom feared that the tax man would seize her other accounts if they were associated with either of us, so she took us off the TOD, transfer on death, which had previously named all three of us, and just left my sister as sole Todd beneficiary. She told both me and my brother that we were not disinherited, we were not being cut out, but our sister had her shit together, tax-wise, and if anything should happen to her, our sister would do the right thing and still divide the assets evenly. My brother and I were both told the same thing. Equal split, not disinherited. My sister says she was surprised to learn that she was the sole beneficiary, but that must have been what mom intended because she set it up that way and never said anything to the contrary. She also left no explanation for this departure from the equal split paradigm she had always espoused. My sister found out about the annuities shortly after our mother's death. I don't know how many, but at least two. I don't know how much, but at least 360 k dollar, possibly twice that. They are set to pay enough to live on comfortably, but not extravagantly, for the next 18 years. My sister has stated that the annuities will not be divided, and she still intends to take a third of the remainder of whatever is left after selling the house, car, and a few small items of value. Eventually, with the help of my therapist, I'm in a place where I can be in the same room as her. We talked about estate business last night. No major disagreements. Then she said, Our brother hasn't made eye contact with me for weeks. So here's where I might be the asshole. I said, he is probably still in shock or still processing the enormous betrayal by you to your siblings and also to the trust mom placed to be fair and to do the right thing. Instead, you chose to screw us out of the lion's share of the estate, then take a third of whatever is left over. What did you expect? That nothing would change? That your brothers would still treat you the same way? that we would still travel every summer so our kids could see each other, that your brothers would still consider you to be family after you stole our inheritance? She looked surprised. I went on a run to the liquor store a few minutes later. When I returned, I could see her on the front step on a call to one of her girlfriends, crying. So am I the asshole for telling my sister that she has chosen money over family?